Mr. Mtembo, uh, we know that uh, uh, South Africans have been very anxious uh, about what sort of measures would be taken and many think it would be a lockdown. Um, if it's a lockdown, uh, we know that uh, essential service somehow is exempted uh, so that it can be able to continue uh, to uh, work. But perhaps the question that is closest to my heart as someone who is in the media, um, should the president announce a lockdown? So will the media and particularly the public broadcaster be exempted from it or it's a shutdown for everyone? Well, l l let's uh, allow the president to announce the measures uh, that will be taken by government to mitigate the impact of this virus. In the event of any measures that are a little bit drastic to protect our people, those measures will be done in a very responsible manner. Because still under those circumstances, we will still need to be in touch, uh, in communication with our people. Therefore, people who transmit government messages our partners in this area of communication, of course, will not be that much affected, but we leave that to the president to announce. Except that, of course, we, all of us, like everybody else, we can't be many in any one place. So there will be measures that government will put in place so that even as we speak to our people through the media, we don't have many media people in one area so as to align with our measures that were taken uh, as it relates to the gathering of more than 100 people. Uh, Minister Mtembo, we've seen the um, movement of the army and there's been a lot of panic in society. Can you just confirm if that um, action movement that we've seen is any way related to what the president will be announcing in about an hour's time? Okay, can we allow the president to announce the further measures that government will be taking to protect our people against this very deadly virus, coronavirus? Again, let's not allow panic to set in. Uh, let's allow our people to remain calm uh, because indeed uh, it is in the interest of society that we remain calm and uh, we know that we will also uh, be protected by our government uh, from any uh, of the impacts that will come from this virus that all of us are working together to contain, that all of us are working together to ensure that the impact is not deadly to our people and all of our people. That's why we are saying let's allow the president to mention these measures and uh, tell us what government will be doing, working together, of course, with all our stakeholders uh, in the country. You know that we have met with churches, we have met with business people, uh, we will also be meeting with other stakeholders in the week. But whatever we will do, we will do all the measures that will be undertaken in a manner that is responsible. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mtembu. We know that we had to drag you uh, to get you to at least speak to us. At least we know that uh, the president will now uh, speak to the nation at half past seven, as uh, the minister in the presidency there has uh, said, Aldrin and Zepiso, that um, the president definitely at half past seven will be able to unveil and speak about these measures uh, we have seen you also introduced that uh, in your intro there, that uh, 402 people already are infected. So clearly, it's, uh, it's obvious to anyone that uh, certain measures should be undertaken because those that were announced last week perhaps may not have been sufficient.